Hi, I'm Scott Whittle, and in this episode, we're going to talk about what a sonogram is and how these clever little pictures can make you a sorcerer of sound. So what is a sonogram? In our case, sonograms aren't uh, baby's first selfies or a strange kind of singing telegram. No, sonograms are actually pictures of bird sounds, and we're going to use those pictures to help us understand those sounds better. So pictures are really important. Um, I probably don't have to tell you that uh, audiobook without sonograms is like a guidebook without pictures, and a guidebook without pictures is just a dictionary, and nobody wants to read a dictionary. So we need these pictures to be able to point out specific things about a sound and learn more details about the sound that we might not pick up if we're just listening to it with our ears and not looking at it with our eyes. So can sonograms really help you hear differently? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Sonograms can help you hear differently. That's because knowledge changes perception. And the thousand words in a picture can help your brain pick up changes in sound that you might have never done without that help. So by looking at a picture of a sound, you can actually really shift the way you hear the sound. What is the point? Seeing isn't believing. Believing is seeing. So let's see how these magical pictures work. This is a sonogram of a yellow warbler song. Let's hear that. And you can see that the song is moving left to right over time. So the X axis is time. The Y up and down axis is pitch. So lowest sound to highest sound. And finally, like I said, we can actually see loudness. So for example, in this Blackpool Warbler song, you can see that it gets from quiet to loud. By the way, Blackpool Warbler has a very high song. So if you can't hear that, it may just be a normal sign of age-related hearing loss. Um, I certainly have that issue, but uh, as I always say, if you're out in the field and you don't hear anything, it's probably a black pole warbler. So how can we use this sonogram to understand the sounds we're hearing? Well, a sonogram will show us all the categories of things that we use to describe sound with, and even a little bit more. For example, we can look at quality of a sound. You can actually see the quality of a sound. For example, in this black-throated green warbler song, you can see that the sound changes from clear to buzzy. We can also see stuff like pitch change. For example, here we have the song from the a mechanical Owl from Clash of the Titans, and we can actually see the pitch drop in that sad little song. We can also see structure, so we can look at the marks in the picture and see how they're grouped and how they might be connected or repeated. And just for fun, let's try this uh, bobolink song. This is a crazy one. I'd say the pitch of this song is basically a curveball. And by the way, if you want to make your own sonograms, just go to the Cornell Labs website and you can actually download the software Raven Light, which will let you for free enter a, uh, any kind of sound file and it'll show you a picture of that sound, which you can then manipulate and look at. Also, uh, if you want to do it on your phone, uh, da download the Merlin app, which is a great app anyway, from also from Cornell, and that app will let you in the sound ID section actually see in real time the sonogram of whatever you're hearing. So I hope you've enjoyed this little introduction to sonograms. I know I have. Uh, I think sonograms are magic. They can show you that believing what you see can help you hear what was hidden. Whoa! I'm Scott Whittle, and I'll see you next episode.